Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be diving into the ultimate guide to the PS Vita plugins, what they do, how to install them and my top recommendations. So let's get started. So what are plugins? Plugins are software components that add extra functionality to a program without altering its core code. Think of them as extensions that boost your PS Vita's capabilities. To manage them easily, we'll be using an app called Auto Plugins 2. It simplifies the process so you can install plugins with just a few button presses. Traditionally, installing plugins means copying files to a specific folder on your Vita and editing a config.txt file. While that's the proper method recommended by many devs, Auto Plugins 2 handles it all for you. It installs and uninstalls plugins, lets you customize them, adds PSP plugins for adrenaline, and even downloads extra apps, an all-in-one convenient package. Years ago, there was a debate about this app potentially corrupting SD cards or the TIE folder where plugins live. I've never really had issues myself, but problems can happen if you overload your system with plugins or uninstall the wrong ones, so be cautious and you'll be fine. So we're going to be installing Auto Plugins 2 without a PC, and Auto Plugins 2 isn't in most homebrew stores, but I'll show you two easy ways to get it without a PC. Okay, quick pause for a shout out to today's sponsor, and that's NOCN and their 27D1Q monitor. Seriously, this thing's a beast. It's got a 27 inch high res display that's perfect for work, a 100 hertz refresh rate for buttery smooth gaming, and ports like HDMI, DisplayPort, and Type-C to hook up anything. Plus, it's adjustable for height and tilt, and VESA mountable if you're tight on space. I've been loving it for gaming, but especially for productivity. I have the orientation vertical so I can look at all of my different messages on Discord or looking something up online. It just really helps with my setup. If you want one, hit up the link in the description down below. It's on Amazon. And if you do use my affiliate link, I do earn some commission off of that, which will help support the channel. So thank you. Thanks again to EnoCN for sending me this amazing monitor and for keeping my setup on point. So all right, let's get back to the video. Method one is using the QR code method. The PS Vita has a hidden feature in the Vita shell where you can actually scan QR codes and download applications off the web. Grab your phone and visit the website linked in the pinned comment below. Click on the QR link to generate a code. On your Vita, open Vita Shell, then press the left D-pad along with the circle together to launch the hidden camera. Scan the QR code and when you're prompted to open the URL, make sure to cancel because you will be getting errors. Keep scanning and pressing circle until it asks you, do you want to install this package? Press X to confirm and the VPK will be downloaded and installed. The second method, which is my favorite, is through the web browser. So open your Vita's web browser and type the following URL. This takes you to the Vita app downloader. Press continue, then OK. Once it loads, scroll down and select the install quick app downloader. After it installs, scroll up and hit exit. On your home screen, open Quick App Downloader. Find Auto Plugins 2 in the list and install it. You'll also see handy apps like Vita Deploy, great for formatting SD cards or swapping them out. And that's it, Auto Plugins 2 is now on your Vita. So let's explore Auto Plugins 2 and see what this application is all about. So when you first launch Auto Plugins 2, it should automatically update to the latest version, which as of this recording should be 2.13. Accept the update to stay current, and the main menu offers Vita plugins, PSP plugins, app downloads, extras, settings, and quit. Check the timestamps below to jump to any section you like to look at. Let's begin with Vita plugins. Under Vita plugins, you'll see options like install plugins, uninstall plugins, configure plugin for SD2 Vita, miscellaneous plugins, and customize plugins. 
Under installing plugins, you'll find 131 plugins listed. A green dot means it's already installed. And the top right corner shows the URL folder as the default folder. Pick a plugin, press X, read the README or skip with X. And press X again to install. Once done, press start to exit and reboot. If a plugin doesn't work, just reinstall it from the list. Here are my recommendations when it comes to Vita plugins. The first one is auto boot. Set an app to launch on startup. Adrenaline, run adrenaline with one tap, fixing the double tap issues. DS4 Vita or X1 Vita, use a DualShock 4 or an Xbox controller, and you can only have one at a time. FD Fix resolves common homebrew glitches. KU Bridge, required for most ports. No TRP DRM, unlock trophies in supported homebrews. Check VitaDB to see which homebrews are supported under this plugin. PSV Shell, the overclock plugin. To toggle it, you have to press the select and up at the same time, and you can enable the overclock in whichever game you'd like to use it on. The Quick Menu Plus, this enhances the quick menu, making it a lot easier and more efficient to use. Shell Bat, this shows the battery percentage in the status bar. Not sure why Sony didn't add this from the get go. UDCD underscore UVC, stream your Vita to a PC via USB for OBS or Streamlabs. Vita graphics, adjust resolution and FPS in some games. And I have a full guide on this if you're interested in looking into this further. I'll have that link in the description down below. Vita cheat, add cheats to a Vita game. And I have a full guide also on this plugin. I'll have a link in the description as well. Custom boot splash and custom warning. Customize your boot screen and message. A guide will be linked down below. Uninstall plugins, manage install plugins here. And make sure to read each one before removing one because some are very critical for your jailbreak. Stick to URO and you can scroll with left and right on the D-pad. Configure plugin for SD2 Vita. You can mount extra storage like a memory card. Skip this if you already use Yamped. Miscellaneous plugins includes HD patches, a DLC unlocker, and a little big planet custom server. Customize plugins, you can tweak settings for auto boot, custom boot splash, custom warning, or quick menu plus. Let's head on over to the PSP plugins for adrenaline users. Under plugins for adrenaline, install PSP specific plugins like Leta, which enables legacy homebrews under 1.50 kernel, or remaster controls, which is the dual analog patch. Make sure to stick to this list when enabling plugins for adrenaline. A lot of the original PSP plugins will not work for adrenaline and may corrupt your system. Under plugins manager, you can enable and disable installed PSP plugins flawlessly. Install NPDRM free. This will allow you to run PS1 and PSP content without licenses. Check plugin updates. This scans for any updates for your plugins that may have a new update. Oddly placed here instead of the main menu. Let's head back to app downloads and here we can download some of the basic apps just like Vita Deploy can. And sometimes we can come across some homebrew stores that will be unstable so this is a really good backup to have. Under extras, we can configure PKGJ options to set PSP games as eBoots or switch partitions for PSP and PSX titles. We can also download the latest PKGJ database just in case the original refresh fails. You can reset the config.txt, but this erases everything, so use this with caution and it's not recommended at all. Under settings, we have change language, font, enable auto updates, or tweak the Thai config settings. Auto Plugins 2 is one of the best homebrew apps for the PS Vita. It's versatile, user-friendly, and packed with options. Huge props to the dev for this gem. Whether you're new or a veteran, it simplifies plugin management and adds so much convenience. The Vita scene is still thriving and this app proves it. Let me know your thoughts on Auto Plugins 2 in the comments. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more PS Vita content. I upload daily and stream weekly to connect with you all, so thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy gaming.